listening to the Mothership Connection, your cosmic link to the other side. Welcome to Mothership Connection. Uh, Dolby is not here. I'm not going to attempt to do what he does. His <laughs> do not attempt to adjust your computer. There is nothing wrong. Right. We have taken control, and that's not that's on. Yeah. Which, if he's not here, there's usually <laughs> lots wrong, but I think we're doing, we're we're doing pretty good. The king of the we're nothing without the king. Uh, all hail king. Who's anus? <laughs> Dolby's <Or> anus. anus. <laughs> just get out. I'm going to tell you. Just get out. <laughs> Hasn't even washed his <laughs> So we have uh, a special studio, live studio audience guest. Hi, Tom. Who hasn't seen any Jurassic Park movies? Anyways, to make to the grave without seeing them. Thank you for joining us this evening. Appreciate it. Gonna make it you watch it. Gonna make you watch it. Uh, so, last episode we talked a little bit about uh, local bands, uh, and I, when I got my newer car, I almost didn't buy it because it didn't have a CD player. Realizing that I'm a dinosaur. Yes, I know. Uh, I bought it anyways, uh, so I was forced evolution. Yeah. Uh, so I already had a smart-ish phone, uh, and I tried to put. You know, Adam showed me how to put songs on a chip that went in the phone, but some of the songs are disappearing, and I don't think my my Android and my car don't communicate well with each other. The Bluetooth portion never worked, and as you say, old phone, old problems. That's the way she goes. Yeah. So. I put all my songs, well, my a lot of favorites, on flash drive, and because I've got two USB ports in the car, just plug in the flash drive. So I've been obsessed with putting music on flash drives. I have one I call it the Mega Mega Mix that has little bits of everything. That's cool. But to hear my favorite song, it takes a couple days. <laughs> or or go fast go. scanning. Don't you have it in alphabetical order? It's too? all alphabetical order. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes I have doubles or covers. Uh, for the song Highway to Hell, there's also a cover of the song. So what oh, I would, Hotel California that was Spanish? Right, yeah. So what I would, I'd get clever, so I would edit the title and put like a, a letter of the alphabet in front of it and just throw it somewhere else. Hmm. That way they're not back to back all the time. Interesting. Because I think that would get annoying. There's no way to shuffle it on your thing? I don't know. I don't, I don't out. know. Flash drives, no, there's no shuffle. It's purely alphabetical order. So I have multiples of the same song. So I am making the Trooper and I have the Trooper live. I don't want them back to back, so in front of the live one, I'll throw like the letter X, kick it to the back of the line, so I could hear it again further down the road. Call me crazy. That's interesting. No, I don't like that. It's a good idea. Thank you. I thought it was rather clever. Because it's like, like a that. little surprise. Oh, I'm in the X's, but this song came up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I run into that same problem. Uh, see, I just delete the one I don't like as much. Yeah. yeah. Same right. here. So my other flash drive is making neat, super though. sounds of the 70s. I, like I made that. a couple of 70s type CDs. Can't play them in the car anymore, so I'm redoing this in the flash drive. Was that what you were playing today? Yes, well, no, this was just some of the CDs that I bought. Okay. Come back to that in a second. So, what I did is I wanted to find more stuff. Because the 70s stuff that I had turns out took out a very minuscule amount of the flash drive, and I wanted to try to find more. So, let me say something before, because I know what you're sure. going to say about your thing. I was on Facebook the other day, and this will tie right into what you want to do. Um, I was looking at an article, and it said that Best Buy is not selling CDs anymore. Yeah, Best Buy got on to selling the CDs. It is There done. was no longer a viable option, and they lost Which money. It's sad. It's sad. So with that, I had to try to find where to buy compact discs. Uh, and I know people are still making them and putting them Amazon on. does have an option to buy digital or physical okay. copies. Okay. So there's one. Yeah. But going going to an actual physical store, a lot more complicated now. So here in town, I found three. Uh, there's a CD warehouse, uh, Barnes and Noble, and Fye. I was going to say, where's the CD compact? Where's that? The CD warehouse. warehouse? Oh, the CD That's warehouse. on Eighty Street by Walgreens. We live in Kenosha, hmm. so they sell a lot of used stuff. It's all strictly. Used I know. Stuff. I'd love to take a trip there. They've got some local band. They've got some local stuff there too. I mean, nothing nothing from our Holy Trinity, but they've got they've got stuff. Yeah. Bottom line is they have stuff, physical, tangible items. So, a dear friend of mine, Gianna, uh, she got a turntable and is trying oh, to find vinyl cool. and doesn't always want to order vinyl online, although obviously you can. But it's always fun to go look, look yeah. at stuff. So, every time I'm out and about, I always let her know what I find if I found anything. So, I told her today, hey, I found a gold mine 
is the CD Warehouse, the Barnes & Noble, and the FYE up in Racine have vinyl, and a good amount of it too. But I told her there's one, I'm going to pick on the band, and we saw them in concert a couple mm -hmm. of months ago, a band called The Struts. Uh, I'm still trying to find their CD. I told Gianna, hey, found a bunch of CDs, got, I found some vinyl, but I can't find The Struts. They're pretty elusive. I can't find them. So we get into texting discussion. It was a pretty good discussion, too. She's very smart. So she says she checked out the website and they don't sell compact discs. Well, that's ridiculous. Why wouldn't they? Her argument is this. Uh, because it costs too much money to produce a physical copy, whether it's CD or vinyl. They have everything they have digitally. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Now, when we saw them live, didn't they say that they're putting out a new album? Yeah. How can that be? They don't have an album. It'll all just be online. When they Why don't they just say we're releasing new material? I'm sure that it's just habit to say, hey, we're cutting a new album. Right. But you're not actually, are you? There's you're just no, releasing more stuff into the no interwebs. Proof, right? There's no proof they ever have albums out. So I went back and told Gianna, I said, well, that's a bummer. I guess I'm not going to be a fan anymore. And she says, well, that's pretty harsh to not be a fan because they can't sell a CD. I'm like, well, how am I supposed to listen to their music? She says, because they probably don't have enough money, they're not popular enough to be able to buy CDs to sell them. I say that's ridiculous because all the local bands here in town all have their own CDs. Exactly. I told her that, and she says that it's probably poor quality and it's not the same. No. I totally disagree with that. Uh, now, Gianna is everything tech. She's a whiz-bang with tech. She's got a bitchin' iPhone. She downloads a lot of stuff, and she doesn't have a lot of physical copies of things, but that is the new wave. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's the new wave. So I, I'm saying is it's probably about the age of 40 and higher want a tangible copy, 40 and lower, don't give a crap, it's all going to be on their handy dandy phone. Yeah. Yes, Carrie? I want to chime in because I would, I like physical copies better than digital, but in my car, which is unfortunate, it doesn't have a CD player, Right. Um, which I make do, but the thing is I like to get the physical copy to have at least on me somewhere, so if I can put it on my computer. What does your car have? A cassette? Um, just a cassette, because it's a 2003 Malibu. Sense if you want some music to listen Really? To. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Well, it's nice because with Anyways. mine, and this is where I like both sides. I personally right. like the physical copy, uh -huh. but with my cassette, I have a cord and I can plug it into my phone and play it from there. Now, and every, that's why I have Spotify. Every new bit of technology always out evolves the previous. Uh, for example, when I was a kid, 8 track. Yep. Right? 8 uh, tracks were a form of a cassette. A bad form, more or less. Oh. So you had albums mm -hmm. and you had eight tracks. That was it. And albums, I'm talking about real vinyl yep. records. But you couldn't play them in your car. Mm -mm. Some of the cars had eight track decks in your cars. Not many because that was an obscure technology. So that quickly got outdated. So all you had was the radio or you had to go home and listen to your vinyl. Right. Uh, but soon thereafter, de developed the cassette tape, recordable cassettes. Right, and cars came out with cassette decks. So you went to your local, here in town it was called Mainstream Records. Uh, in Chicago they had coconuts. There was a lot of different forms to buy music. So you get everything on cassette, buy it in the store, put it in your car, and listen to it on the way home. God, how awesome was that, right? Quickly thereafter, it developed a compact disc. Yeah. But it took a long time for cars to have compact disc players a very long it's gotta time. It's got to be hard to... Uh, because they were uh, sure that cassette tapes would never, ever, never go out. Cassettes were going to maybe outdo vinyl, but compact disc was a passing was phase. Gonna it was, was never going to come around. Uh, but what you could do is you could record. You can get a stereo uh, cabinet, yep. which would have a CD player, which is rare. My brother's first CD player, he won at a bowling tournament. But they were going for around 150, 200 bucks just for the CD player, not not part of a component stereo cabinet, but just the CD player, right? It's like VCRs. When the first VCRs came out; they were as big as this table. The remote control had a cord. I mean, nothing was wireless. So every technology outdoes the previous technology. But I don't think I'd like to think I should say I'd like to think that CDs are still a viable way to listen to music. Because not everybody's smartphone works that way. Not everyone can download Spotify. Right. These things cost money. If you subscribe to all these pay sites, you're going to go broke trying to find music. right? I mean, I'm sure there's some stuff floating out that you have to pay for. 
But a bulk of it, you have to. And that's what I grew up on. I mean, I loved having the physical copies. I I remember I would lend people my physical copies of my favorite CDs, and there's a couple that I've never gotten back, and I'm still torn, because it's like, well, that's the first one I ever bought in person, you know, right. and stuff like that. I hold a grudge against that, so... Um, I, I mean, I, I get that I'm old-fashioned in my thinking, and Gianna didn't say that, but that's where she's going. I go, and it's just... I totally understand where she's coming it's from. It's just the general It's thing. frustrating. It's very frustrating, because not everyone has a super bitch in iPhone. Uh, not everyone but, does it. CDs are usually cheaper, and I could put them in my computer, and then put them right on the flash drive. It's pretty easy to do. When I grew up, you know, we didn't have money for a nice fancy iPhone or anything, so we had the cheapy like sure. MP3 players. But you could still download the stuff you wanted, put the COD CDs that yep. you had or, on the computer, yep. and do it that way. Where car manufacturers, in my opinion, screwed up is that they didn't make cars MP3 tech friendly. No, they didn't. They went right from CDs right to phones. They should have had an MP3. Should have. It's too late now. Well, obviously. I had a couple MP3s that had the little, you know, where you put your headphone jacks in, right. and you could put it to the car. But, but now most... my MP3 player has a USB port where I charge oh. up my tower machine. Doesn't work That's in the car not cool. though. And it doesn't work in the car. Why? Hmm. I get it. It's ancient tech. It's not going to read it. It can't figure it right. out. And I don't know. That's a bummer. That's a that's that a true sad. bummer. It is sad. So I guess here's here's the question. Oh, wait, before I get that, Adam, you had the video games. You had the same go. What what were you saying about uh, oh, digital yeah. copies or hardcore copies? What what are gamers going for with this? Right. Well, it seems like most game technologies nowadays are all moving towards digital copies. Everybody's got their systems, and rather than go out to the store and buy a copy, you can just sit right in the comfort of your home, yep. click buy, and wait for that son of a bitch to download. Pre order you got a game. It months before. Exactly. You can pre order a game. And the second that game comes out, midnight exactly, it will mm, download. It's in your inventory. Right, it won't even download. Like, you can pre-download games now, and they'll remain locked until the d game yep. is released. It's and the handy. second it comes out, it's unlocked and you can play it. So there is good things about There's good sides. things about technology. The thing with that is, like, you're not going to play, uh, what's the hottest video game trend right now? What's, what's the hottest like game? Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. Probably what is this? Fortnite. 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 Can you play Fortnite in your car? There you it go. So there's a little bit of a difference. Yeah, it's not safe. <laughs> it is right. technically. <laughs> sure, you, see, you, you try to be the last phone. one to survive. Right. Like right. I did Pokemon Go while driving. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Go. Remember when they stopped allowing you to play it while you were driving? Oh yeah. Did they? Yeah. So this yeah. dropped off before that happened. But this is why I wanted to have musicians on the show, as I stated before, because I want to get their opinion on this. So let's see what we think they'll say. I want to say that. I think they'll like the physical copies better. Well, yeah, because why would they, they have so many? They've they all produce? put out physical copies. They must still be of the opinion that it's a viable product. Otherwise, why would why would they bother making? Because you took me out to the Day Rollers and okay, mixed so company right for the uh, first time. I bought Day Rollers uh, CD like in the first couple of songs. I'm like, these mm -hmm. guys are good, and I want something to have of theirs. And they and, have to sign it. In like, your opinion, how's the quality of that CD? Amazing. They go to <laughs> what is it? Cherry Pit, Pit Cherry Studios. Pit Studios. And that's where the Holy Trinity all go to perform. Yeah, I'll go to Cherry Pit Studios. And it's and great. I, and I get that some local bands don't have the luxury of actually going to a recording studio and having it being done in a very professional manner. I, I get that, but some of them do. Mm -hmm. So, again, I really want to get their opinion. I think that's like newspapers nowadays. You can download newspapers on your iPhone. Nobody gets a... The, the weekly Kenosha news anymore. And I'm not trying to make Little fun of Kenosha. Little bike kid yeah. throwing it on your I'm not making fun of the Kenosha news. It, it could be any newspaper. Any local hometown <laughs> newspaper. How many people still subscribe to your local newspaper? Why would you do that? You pay the same amount yeah, click Facebook it on your phone page, and you can yeah. read it on your phone the anytime articles, you want. Yeah. It's the same articles. Exactly. Although, so, yes. If I'm being honest, I read a lot better um, with hard copies of like books. Sure. I can't read an e-book. I can't get it's into it dull. for whatever reason. I can't focus. But having a book in my hands, I can go through I'm the, the whole opposite. book. I'm the opposite. Just can't switch to PO on there. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I can't, and as much as I want to, I love. I used to love to read, but I can't just sit and focus on a hard copy anymore. But I like having my books a physical sure. copy, which okay. sucks. I like keeping track of my progress. So I always have right. two bookmarks. Where I am, where I want to be. Yeah. And it's neat to kind of uh, get on my dork. I get that. But I like to track oh, my progress with reading no, this cool. And I think that sort of, like, even between her and I, that sort of sort of uh, shows the split between, like, maybe when I was being raised it was more books, but when you were coming up through elementary school, they started transitioning more into technology. Mm -hmm. yep. But they're still making books, and a lot of them, too, because Barnes & Noble has an entire right. bestseller shelf. 
Yeah. Right. So obviously they they still feel that books are still viable. So what's the difference between a book and a CD? I sorry to interrupt. Like, I know oh, I'm yeah. off screen, but I feel like it's more dependent on each person. The case by sure. case. Sure. For like instance, collectors of cop, of course, they're going to want the hard. So is it unfair the like industry to dictate how we view or listen to material? I don't really think it's the industry that dictates, but the consumer themselves. Yeah. Like. For instance, me, I just want media, like as much right. as possible to fill the void in my life to make sure that I don't remember that life is meaningless every Look second. at my living room. I mean, that's you get what, what I'm, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm right there. So, like, I'm searching just for, like, sure. anything I can get a hold of, like, digital video games. I've done both sides. And, like, I've that's been... What she said. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been to like midnight he's releases done, uh, for hard stuff. Hardcover video games, <laughs> right? <laughs> Something so. else with that book for me having the hard copy is, believe it or not, because I went to an elementary school that didn't really have a lot, and then I went to Catholic school for middle school. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. So we were sort of behind the times. First time I ever used a computer in school <laughs> was ninth grade. So I think I got used wow. to books. Yeah. No, I started using them in like elementary. Right. right. So I mean, as far as Gianna goes, and I hate to admit this, well, she's right a lot. I mean, she's very, she's right. a very she's intelligent so girl. Smart. She's very smart. Uh, and I hate to admit it, but she's right. It's an unfortunate circumstance, and I'm getting out evolved. Uh, but there lies the poll question. We had a. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna oh, quick check and my now phone. we can actually use a poll on Facebook. I bet you. I'll use that. So option. we had a. So uh, hold on. Yes. Do we want the question whether to be which uh, version do you prefer, or do you we think can that have, the CD is going extinct because We can have of two questions. Okay. So we're going to arrange a poll question after this episode. First poll question is going to be which do you prefer, CDs or digital, or however you want to word that. Yeah. The second question is, uh, are CDs going to be a quick future a thing of the past? And should they be? I mean, I understand that there's, there's a time and place for technology, but what if network goes down my phone's trashed i have everything in my life on my phone Poof, how are you gonna gone. get it back yeah, how do you get it back i have it all saved to my sd card i have like i mean yeah. 2, i'm songs. saying it's technology so into that <laughs> gaming is actually going that way yeah. too he owns a nintendo switch mm -hmm. and those no longer come on cds they are actually transitioning back to older technology yeah, they have cartridges. little cartridges now oh, really? but they're about the size of an sd card and they oh taste yeah the game system and that's okay. how the game goes they taste so everything really old too. is new again <laughs> Well, look at vinyl. Vinyl disappeared for 15 years. And, and now it's the trend again. It's that 30-year cycle of nostalgia. So yeah. maybe in 30 years, CDs will have a comeback. Because it's I mean, popular to be. The style yeah. of dress from the 80s and such right. is coming back. People are really enjoying that. Or 70s. Like, right. They want to live in an era they didn't grow up in. Exactly. The media and the society would have us believe that we're all living like the Jetsons. <laughs> but the truth is, a lot of us are still like the Jeffersons. Yeah. Right? And we're not living... That way, and some people yet. choose not to use technology and stuff like some, yeah. For those who want to live off the grid, of which I know a few who are like that, tough luck. It's I guess society kicks you out. It's different because his grandma totally is fair, she loves technology. But my grandparents, like, just got like an iPhone, you know, just right. got a smartphone like last year. Like, everybody's different in I any guess generation. It, so, Gianna, I, it hurts me to be wrong, but obviously, you're right with what you're saying. It's it sucks. I'm gonna call this a hard pill to swallow. It's this. It, it's it sucks. Well, uh, just be and just because I'm picking on the struts because they haven't released a CD. Chains. But the argument, the argument still, I think, is arguable yeah. because local bands are still doing it. Why in the hell didn't they do it? When they're and I, and I, bigger. When they're they're a lot bigger, and I fail to see that the struts don't have any money, but local bands who barely get paid have enough to make a CD. And I understand there's gonna be some some production values. But still, yes, Adam. You know what we haven't talked about is movies. How movies are going. Yeah, they're the same way. You can yeah, buy movies are the same way. And movies, but yeah. I'm sure you like owning the copies of those movies. You have your whole shelf upstairs. I love Tons having just the movie like, yeah. yeah, It's great to look at your whole yeah. collection. Or well, Redbox now. You can just right. rent it for the night and put it back. You don't have to keep it. I don't think Blu-rays are going to be out quickly. Unless they find some technology that's greater because, than Because, right? again, I don't want to watch a movie on my phone. I'm sorry. And I don't have a smart TV. But it's so much better to watch it on the big screen. Because smart technology, I've seen it. Fire sticks and whatnot. It's unreliable. So far. So far, it's unreliable. I don't like it that much. It's, it's, it's splotchy. It's herky-jerky. It's, it's not clean. Mm -hmm. in, in, it's my opinion. I'm not a big fan. So I think maybe in years to come, it could get to that point where the tech is a lot better and, who, and I might be of, well, who the hell needs a DVD? 
just punch it up on my TV and I got everything. I, but I like the extras, the commentary, yeah. all that fandom crap that nobody else watches, but I do. And as long as that stuff is there, I guess bottom line, I, I guess I don't care. But when the grid goes down, when technology fails, uh, what the hell do you do then? Read a book? Oops, sorry, can't. They're outlawed or they're gone. When I had my iTunes hell? account, and I was at, you know in middle school, I didn't have much money to go out and rent movies or buy you know buy them out there or whatever. So I would use my iTunes account to download movies. Sure. But the cool thing about it, I bought like all of the Lord of the Rings movies on iTunes and stuff. But what's cool is they they do have the extras if you get the right one. Right. But when you go to the screen to watch the movie, it's like you can use your mouse and click which option you want to use. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you can see if there's extras on that. So that's and, usually included. Yeah. And I don't doubt that in the years to come, technology with that's just going to keep getting better. Uh, technology has its place, without a doubt. Uh, GPS, for one, I think is the best invention yep. known to humankind. Oh, yeah. Uh, without it, we'd all be more or less lost. <laughs> still on MapQuest. Still on MapQuest. I map still quest. remember yeah. using MapQuest. I know. <laughs> so I'm not against technology. I just want to make it to where technology advances. It doesn't shun a good half that can't quite have access to that kind of good tech yet. I still think it's viable to keep releasing old tech right. little bits by little bits till everyone can get on board the same proverbial train. And obviously that's my opinion, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But again, I'm not the manager for the struts. Right. I'm not their chief financial officer. I don't know what kind of monies they make. I don't really pick and hardcore on the struts, and I've seen them live twice. But it's only because you had proof that they're not. And I had proof that they don't have CDs, and it's kind of it's kind of crappy. But the, yeah, they have the entire album on Spotify and stuff. So they decide. Sense, yeah. So they decide to put it digitally, where you only make a couple cents off every play <laughs> instead of having a whole album for like ten bucks. Clearly, that's, a, that's a business it. decision that they made. Uh, and again, I don't think it's fair. I don't. I get life's not fair. Because I would love totally a physical win. copy of the shirts. Sure. Oh, yeah. I showed I Adam like the days yeah. after we went. I'm like, they're good. They're so good. They are very good. Having them on vinyl, the way that they oh, sound that would, would be great. amazing. They sound really good on vinyl. Gianna, I'm talking to you now personally. If you ever get the struts on vinyl, invite me over. I exactly. We need that. 